Okay, so a quick tour of what we do each week. You can see here Mod 1, Welcome Orientation in Your Self-Transforming Brain. What you'll always see first is the Week 1 Agenda. So you click on that. And you wait. <laughs> and then what we have is what we do this week. And we do the same thing every week, lecture, quiz, read and reflect, discussion. So pretty straightforward. And then there's always a link in each week's agenda to our live stream class on Tuesdays at 2, if you can make that. So we'll go on to the next page. Let's take a breath. OK, good. <clears throat> Relaxing breath. So first we have lecture one, your self-transforming brain. Here's the slideshow of the lecture. If you open it, you'll see that there's a PDF slideshow that you can go through at your own pace. And I'll be posting video lectures of the slideshow every week. And I'll walk you through the video lecture, uh, the slides with basically a lecture. Now, down here, you can see terms and ideas to know. These are the things that will be included on the quiz. So you can see we're going to talk about neuroplasticity, a habit is a neural path, self-directed neuroplasticity, fixed and growth mindsets, we can get better at everything, why it's good to be in a good mood, your limbic system and prefrontal lobes, little neuroscience here, the brain's negativity bias, more neuroscience, and why the Navy SEALs practice breathing, because breathing calms down your nervous system and helps you stay calm. Let's take a breath in through the nose. And relax, 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 relax out through the mouth gently and you can blow out like a straw like you're blown out through a straw to help relax your body okay so our weekly clip quiz is 10 points it's something that we cover doing the live stream classes so you don't need to do it if you attend the live stream classes I'll enter your points in and the way that we do quizzes on the live stream is that I ask questions intermittently and students write the answers in the chat so you have to regularly participate and have quiz questions answered in the chat to get the credit for the quiz during the live stream. 10 points, 20 minutes to take the quiz. So it takes longer than that to go through the lecture slides. This week is a little bit shorter than normal. Usually we have like 30 to 40 slides. So you need, you need to be able to first do the lecture slides and then come take the quiz because you won't have time, you'll find to look up the answers as you go. Yes, you can take two attempts because there's always something, right? We get bumped off or whatever. And that's it on the quiz. Uh, next is your read and reflect assignment. Your read and reflect is based on this book by Neuro Hans uh, Rick Hansen, which is called Resilience. It's a wonderful book. We read the whole thing. Um, you don't if you order it, this is a hardback, but it does come in paperback. It costs about 12 bucks, And you can usually get a used copy for about $5. Um, we will start reading chapter one next week, but I do provide you with a PDF for the first couple of weeks' chapters, so you have a little breathing room for the book to arrive in the mail. Usually a reading is associated. It'll start next week, um, but this week, we're just taking care of some basics, getting to know one another, and clarifying some goals for the, for the class. So you can see here that you can click here to link your View College email to the email you usually use. And this is about either doing that or making a commitment to regularly check your View College email because that's how we connect and communicate and all your courses will be that way. And I'm sure you're really clear on that these days of remote learning. So the next question you'll write is select one of the prompts below and write your reflections. So you can pick either which topics in the course are you most looking forward to and you can click on the syllabus and take a look at the topics that we cover in the course or and or how would you like to grow and develop this semester using the tools you learn in the course. So this is a really great question to contemplate. And it's also helpful to take a look at the topics um, to answer that question. So if I go to the syllabus and I toggle down here to the topics we cover, you can see that we cover some pretty amazing topics. We start this week with welcome orientation and our self-transforming brain, then 
life in the green zone, self-compassion in your three-part brain. This is because we have basically a brain, one brain when we're in a good mood and another brain when we're in a bad mood. And when we're in a bad mood, well, well, let's just say that the good mood brain, the green brain, has a lot more creativity and strategizing and problem solving and self-discipline than the red brain does. The red brain is really to get us uh, dealing with threats to our survival and so the energy goes into our arms and our legs for running or fighting so it shuts down our higher order thinking creative centers so this is why life in the green zone is such a positive thing and it's also connects to why I, we make a case for self-compassion here why self-compassion is so valuable and you can see here with your your three-part brain that will start to learn some neuroscience that's connected to it. Let's take a breath. In fact, you're gonna learn some neuroscience in lecture one. Let's take a breath. Breathe. It, it helps sometimes when we take a breath to breathe out and really empty your, your lungs and then breathe in. And it's nice to do a pulse breath. So you breathe in a little bit, then you breathe in a little bit more because that naturally activates the relaxation system and then just relax relax, relax, because you probably notice that we tense up a lot during the day. And one of the ways that we can help ourselves feel better overall is to also release that tension during the day. So not just tense up, but also relax, relax, relax. So maybe allow yourself to breathe while I read through these and reflect on which ones of them most call to you, most speak to you, seem most interesting to you. So we have week three, mod three, steady the mind, taking care of needs and managing stress. Mod four, strengths, goals, and shifting procrastination with atomic habits. Mod five, you're stronger than you know, meaning grit and the philosophy of stoicism. Stoicism's an ancient Greek philosophy that is currently very popular again today and is actually the the source, the foundation of cognitive behavioral therapy. Then we have mod six, a stable core, sleep, exercise, nutrition. Mod seven, foundations of feeling good, gratitude, acceptance, and letting go. Mod eight, understanding the ego, inner critic, and deep confidence. Let's take a breath. Remember to breathe and relax, relax. Relax. Emotions and relationships. Meaning, inspiration, and contentment. Intimacy, empathy, and inner allies. Courage, communication, and loving the world. Are these great topics or what? Do you wish you had these topics when you were in elementary school and high school or what, right? Dreams, love, work, and play. Sometimes I wonder. In fact, I'll do a poll at the end. You guys tell me if I should have put this one up in the front generosity, forgiveness, and the circle of us. You can see how these relate to the chapters and they pretty much follow the flow and order of the chapters uh, from Buddha's brain. So that's why dreams, love, work, and play is here in Mod 13. But we are very inspired by our dreams. You know, we're not just propelled by the past, but we're also propelled by the future. And in the future, we want to move toward. In the future, we want to work to create. So dreams are, are fundamental to us. Um, and so maybe I should be doing those, you know, even though it's chapter 11. You guys can let me know. I want to hear your opinion on that one. All right, so you're going to remember it says here, which topics in the course are you most looking forward to? So that's one of the prompts. But it would be cool if you wrote on both the prompts. That would be neat. And then to submit your response, you click the submit assignment button above. Just keep in mind that anytime you write anything lengthy you might want to compose your work offline so you don't you don't lose it there is a text field provided but we also have free microsoft office software for all butte students so you can take care advantage of that too and if you have anything that you think it would be good for me to be aware of you can also mention it there all right and students write things like they're going to be going out of town on a particular time or that they're emergency medical personnel and maybe called away for a few days and things like that. So discuss one. 
This is our first discussion, and say hi and meet your discussion group is the topic. You're always given prompts to write about, and then you respond to two colleagues, and we always treat ourselves and each other with deep respect, deep honoring, and really seeing the best in each other. In fact, looking for the best in each other. And that makes a green brain environment for us. And I'm super excited that I see some discussion posts here. So that's a quick walkthrough of each of the modules. Ta-da! Now let's get started with lecture one. You and your self-transforming brain.